and let us all that we can to build a better future. This story caught my attention from one of our colleagues, Jerry Vasilatos, who sent this to me um, via social media. And I decided to look over this further in the weekend. And I found it interesting that it's not only just hard lens media, but a lot of people all, all throughout social media, be they covering different platforms or be they covering different subject matter, everyone's coming to the realization that our politicians are scumbags, that they're crooks, that they're thieves, that they have insider information, and they don't really give a damn about anything that's happening outside. They don't give a damn about what's happening to working class Americans. They don't give a damn about how the policies that they implement in Washington, D.C. that favor the rich, how it oppresses us. And now more and more people are waking up to the fact that Democratic and Republican lawmakers in the United States Senate and House are scumbags. And they're helping out their family members and their friends get rich and rich and rich. So what do I mean by this? Well, Faze, if we can, I'd like to pull up this first tweet. Now, this is coming from a uh, Twitter page called Unusual Whales, but breaking. Numerous politicians purchased oil and war stocks before the invasion. Now, I've got to be careful how I say things because YouTube is changing how it, how it is, but you see the words there. Many were on uh, committees privy to information regarding the invasion, including defense and energy. The positions they took have beat the market since November. Now, let's look who's on this wonderful list. Now, I'll have to zoom in. Now, the thing is, let's just keep that image there. But I want our audience to understand who's on that uh, list right there. So stocks purchased by Congress before the invasion of a country called Ukraine uh, with the largest gains. Now, the one with the blue line? Hey, everyone, that's everyone's best friend in the whole wide world. Debbie Waltzman Schultz. <gasps> I know she's on that list. But hold on. There's also everyone's favorite crazy person, MTG, also known as Marjorie Taylor Greene. That's right, she's on here, as well as numerous other Democratic and Republican lawmakers. They're getting that insider information. Huh, well, what is a going on? So let me go ahead and pull up this article so that all of you can get a better understanding. Again, all these links can be found in the description box below. So if you want to follow along, check it out. This article was published March 10th of 2022. Putin continues his violent war in Ukraine. The United States and its Democratic allies have banded together to place sanctions on Russia. Yesterday, Biden went further by banning Russian oil imports. Congress is privy to non-public information. I've pointed out congressional trading in 2021. I've noted how trading in 2022 continues to summarize current legislation being debated to ban stock trading by Congress. I've also commented on how family members should be banned too. We've covered this here at Harlan's Media, where Nancy, Nancy Pelosi, ice cream Nancy, saying, remember how she was so against, you know, regulations and rules being put on con congressional members and their families because they might be privy to insider information? We're not the only ones talking about it. A lot of people see it, including you guys, our audience, too. This post will look at members of Congress that have invested in stocks that are now benefiting from Russia's war on Ukraine. What's happening here? So, so yesterday I pointed out how unusual it was for some of our elected officials that have bought energy and other stocks that have benefited greatly as a downstream effect of Russia's war. Due to the 2012 Stock Act, Congress must disclose their financial trades to the public. They have up to 45 days to do so. I took a look at the published disclosures released so far, and here's what I've found. Congress likely knew that Russia was seriously planning an invasion as far back as November. On November 13, 2021, Ukraine warned the global community that Russia had amassed 100,000 troops at their border. Now, this was posted by Rudders, of course. Now, since November, there have been 1,239 disclosed trades by 80 individual members of Congress and their spouses. Again, very good work here. You can find this link to this article in the description box below. 14 of those members have disclosed buying 40 different stocks that have made significant gains as a result of Russia's war. Here are some of the stocks that have made gains since Russia invaded Ukraine. Here, let's get this image right here. So top stocks purchased by Congress with the largest gains since Russia's invasion. This is the image right here that all of you are seeing. These are the outlets that Congress has invested in. 
The majority of these stocks are industrial services, energy minerals, utilities, and non-energy mineral sectors that involve oil, gas, and non-energy metals, or the infrastructure to support those industries. Between February 22nd, which was the invasion that Russia launched, and March 7th, these stocks gained an average of a plus 14.8%. Here's a heat map showing the stocks purchased by Congress and a percent gain since Russia's invasion. Scroll down there, folks. And again, you can find this article in the show notes in the description box below. Please feel free to share. When we factor in the date these stocks were purchased since November 1st of 2021, the average gain increases to a plus 19.2%. Here's the same heat map, but percentage gains are calculated using the first date of the purchase. You could check out these uh, trades in in this table here, and there's a link right there. Here's uh, some observations. House Democrat Ellen Lowenthal, who sits on the House Committee for Natural Resources and chairs its subcommittee on Energy and Mineral Resources, has been buying and selling Sunrun Incorporated stocks uh, as an American provider of residential solar panels and home batteries for a long time. His most recent Sunrun purchase was on January 14, 2022. House Republican Andrew Garbino is the one that bought the Tellurian uh, Incorporated stocks which saw a 57% increase since Russia invaded Ukraine. He actually brought it twice, uh, the first buy on October 4th of 2021 and again on January 14th of 2022. Representative Garvino sits on the House Committee for Homeland Security and its Cybersecurity Infrastructure Protection and Innovation Subcommittee as ranking member and its Energy Preparedness Response and Recovery Subcommittee. Now, hold on, there's a couple other names here, but I want to bring up everyone's favorite person. Come on, audience. You know who I'm talking about. The one, the only, Debbie Waltzman Schultz on January 20th, 2022. House Democrat Debbie Waltzman Schultz. Debbie Waltzman Schultz, her. Remember her? Disclosed that she and her dependent child purchased up to 45000 in Patterson UTI energy stocks. Representative Schultz also sits on the House Committee on Oversight and Reform and its following subcommittees, Energy, Water, Development, and Regulated Agencies, Subcommittee, and National Security Subcommittee. My goodness, everyone is doing good. And I want to bring up one other person here, too. House Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene was busy, by, was, was busy stock trading the day Russia invaded Ukraine. On February 22nd, 2022, everyone's favorite Republican, she brought Lockheed Martin, Chevron, and Next Energy. The next day, Representative Greene called out the media narrative being pushed on war, saying, war and rumors of war is incredibly profitable and convenient. Representative Green was moved from all House committee assignments back in February of 2022, 2021. Apologies for that stutter right there. So, folks, let's scroll down. Let's compare some of the most profitable trades thus far here. This chart shows which member of Congress traded which stock. The number in uh, prepare, uh, parentheses shows it's, if it's the second insist, uh, instant that, uh, of that member trading that stock. As Congress expresses its disapproval uh, of war and support for Ukraine, it might be good to also divest from war stocks during this time. I'll continue to point out unusual trades by Congress and perceived conflicts of interest at, again, www.unusualwhales.com. And here he has a timeline of events right here. So just so everyone remembers, November 13th, 2021, Ukraine gives its like notes that Russia has amassed 100,000 troops at the border. February 17th, U.S. warns of Russian invasion. February 22nd, Russia invades Ukraine. And, well, February 22nd, again, international community announced sanctions on Russia. And on March 8th, U.S. bans oil and gas imports from Russia. One big club. You ain't in it. So I'd like to pull up this next video here. Now, again, um, this individual, he has his own YouTube channel. You know, it's covers a different subject matter than we do, but has to deal with a lot of, uh, a lot of trades and, and reports on the economy, of course. But I think it's important that we acknowledge that more people are seeing who our politicians really are. So if you're diehard Republican Red or diehard Vote Blue, no matter who, look, here's the real truth. Your favorite politician that represents you in the United States Senate and House don't like you. They don't respect you. They don't think about you. They just say things you want to hear, and everyone, especially the American voter, being such a good puppet, you continue to play along with this rigged system. So let's play this video if we can, Faith. 
this is the really big groundbreaking stuff and I, unusual whales i don't know how he does this shit i don't know how he comes up with this stuff i don't know how he finds it but this tweet probably i'm 95 percent sure is gonna go viral this is a big 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 deal this is huge this right here is a prime example of you having your your butthole spread open and your uh, somebody's <laughs> fist just shoved straight down it and the ethical grounds of this to me are so bad so bad I've talked about this before. Can you control the, the conflict between Russia and Ukraine? Absolutely not, right? If you're making money on that situation, that's totally, I mean, it's information that's out there. I think it's a fair thing to do, but it definitely makes you raise you know questions. You raise your eyebrows, you think about it, whatever. The ethicality of it is up to each individual person. But this, the ethicality of this should not even be debatable. Check this out. Numerous politicians purchased oil and war stocks before the invasion, before the invasion of Ukraine, before the invasion of Ukraine, before it even happened, before soldiers stepped off and anything started happening, bulls started flying, missiles started flying, people were losing lives. Politicians were buying stocks. You want to know why? Because they knew what was going to happen before it happened. Many were on committee privy to info regarding the invasion, including defense and energy. The positions they took have beat the market since November. You've got a bunch of different names here. Debbie Schultz, Virginia Fox, Thomas Carper, Robert Whitman. You can see the returns they made. 64%, 42%, 40%, 40%, 38, 37, 36, 34, 34, Now, if we can pause it here real quick. I mean, quick. this is just absurd. Now, hold on. You can see. I want everyone to understand. This is the game that Democratic and Republican lawmakers have been doing for a very long time. They've been acting like this because that's the environment that has been allowed to continue to grow and fester under both Democratic and Republican presidential administrations. Congress is a place where our lawmakers are easily bribed and controlled. It doesn't matter if they're a Democrat or Republican. Lobby groups and corporations will buy off our lawmakers. And at the same time, too, our lawmakers have helped rig the system so that they can earn more profit. They have built an environment where there is such thing as legalized bribery. We have to be better than this. I like to go ahead and pull up the, uh, the rest of the video as well, because I think it's important that we have this conversation on why. Why we need to break away from this two-party system why we need to start building movements and organizations that are no longer attached to that swamp bubble of Washington, D.C. These people in the United States Senate and House are criminals. They knew about this stuff. Let's play the rest of the video. The spy down here has lost 9.92%. All these politicians have bought stocks related in some way, shape, or form to energy or war before it began. Now, let me say this, right? Maybe... Statistically speaking, out of these 25, 30 people, one, two, three, four of them just got lucky. They were like, you know what? Uh, the Russia-Ukraine situation looks kind of bad. Uh, I'm going to buy. You know what? Actually, fuck that. That's so stupid. They can't. I, I don't know how you could. If you're a politician, you just have to be dumb. If you're one of these politicians and you somehow just got lucky and didn't know, it's because you suck at your job and you're just literally not paying attention to anything happening in the world. Every single one of these freaking people should know about what's happening geopolitically speaking with Russia and Ukraine. They should. They really should. They really, really, really should. So I don't see how you can, nah, I can't, you can't even justify the lucky part. There's no luck involved in this. This is just wrong. The weight and the gravity behind what these guys did is they made money anticipating the deaths of people in Ukraine. Let's not even sugarcoat this. These guys got ahead of the ball game. They said, okay, you know what? Uh, there's likely going to be some issues with oil. There's likely going to be some form of a conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Let's make money on it before it happens. And they did. They bought stocks related to oil and war, and they printed massive amounts of money. 20% when the market's down 10%, way before, by the way. Way before. Look at the gains. Look at this. Stocks included were purchased after November 1st of 2021. You know how far in advance that is? You know how far ahead of the game they were? I mean, this is almost like it was premeditated. It makes you wonder if, if everything that happens in the market is just basically decided three, four months in advance. These guys somehow knew. It really makes you wonder, man. Let's pause it here. These guys are just crooked. More than that.
more than just being crooked. They help build the system through their own legislative decisions, be they in the United States Senate or in the United States House, both Democratic and Republican lawmakers. They are the architects of this neoliberal, neoconservative nightmare that we're in. And to think about it, look, these lawmakers, just maybe one of them got lucky? Come on, in this day and age, no. We know just how depraved Washington, D.C. truly is. We know how, again, insulated they are. They're in that swamp bubble in their ivory towers looking down at us. They have the game rigged in their favor. And remember, these are the same Democratic and Republican lawmakers that have for themselves Medicare for all. They have gold-plated health care, a six-figure salary, and all these other wonderful benefits, which we, the American taxpayer, provide to them. And then they write legislative decisions that keep us oppressed, that keep us downtrodden, that keep us controlled. If you're not angry, you should be. Everyone should be furious. And I don't care whether you're a Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, libertarian, green, socialist, it doesn't matter. Every one of us should be upset just how depraved these members of Congress truly are. I'd like to pull up the rest of the video if we can, just so that everyone can understand how screwed up this entire system truly is. Let's play the rest of the video. I mean, this is almost like it was premeditated. It makes you wonder if, if everything that happens in the market is just basically decided three, four months in advance. These guys somehow knew. It really makes you wonder, man. These guys are just crooked. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's hard to believe. I don't know if this is interesting to you guys. I don't know if you want to hear about this, but when I look at this, man, it just infuriates me. I mean, I look at this sort of information, and it makes you, where's Pelosi? Uh, maybe Pelosi's watching her back a little bit here, or she missed the mark. I mean, we all know Nancy, all oh, hail Nancy Pelosi, the greatest trader of our times. Forget Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is nothing in, in the light of our and savior nancy pelosi <laughs> it's just it's not even comparable but maybe she just didn't get in i don't know maybe she's watching her back maybe there's some people knocking on her door you you I, I have no idea but at the end of the day you do have lots of other names here who have just absolutely crushed it with various different names x01 p10 Ma, uh, mos eog lmt dvn just a crap ton of names you know wait are you seeing the game is rigged man I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, this stuff is so discouraging at times. It really is. Like, I think I can relate to everybody here in the chat when I say at times, you look at things like this and you think, how will this ever change? How can you ever fix a system like this? Because what it comes down to, these guys, let me tell you, the top 1% of our country, they are so well off. They're so wealthy that if they want to make people disappear, they can do it. If they want, they want a problem to go away, they can do it. They can do it. They can pay it off. Why do you think nickel just got suspended? Why? I mean, it ties into the same reason that these guys can get away with making money on oil and war before it even happened. They've got enough money to make shit happen. It's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's. It's very tough. And the optimist to me is what keeps showing up to the door. You know, I like to think that right. that people. Now let's pause it here. And now the thing is. You can't reform a system like this. You got to tear it down. And to be very clear, look, our politicians have rigged the game where they can keep on earning more and more profit. They're there so that they can reap the rewards while other people suffer. Remember, Democratic and Republican lawmakers abandoned us in 2020. They abandoned us in 2021. And they're going to abandon us again in 2022. Only except this time now, they're going to have the audacity to ask you to vote for them. What I hope for this midterm is that I see more people support ballot initiatives, help build infrastructure for third parties, and actually build movements outside of the two-party system, outside the influence of Washington, D.C. Now, what I want to see and what's going to happen are two different things altogether. I'm afraid that basically American voters will still be the good puppets and vote for Team Red and Team Blue. But... Looking at all these profits that these lawmakers are doing, and especially as they keep on pushing us closer to World War III, I wonder how they're going to cash in all their wonderful gains when the nukes are finally released and every single city is vaporized off the ground. Look, these lawmakers, they're going to keep on playing this game. 
I want to pull up this final tweet here. And again, it's from Unusual Whales, and you can check out all the links in the description box below. Breaking news. I have just released a full trading report on politicians of 2021. In short, many beat the market, and this was last year. They traded more than ever before, and they made numerous unusually timed trades, resulting in huge gains. And I want to at least name three people that we're all familiar with. Dan Crenshaw, Republican, right there. There's a whole bunch of other lists, but I just want to name out at least three. Three names that you know. Another name, <gasps> Turtle Boy Mitch McConnell. He's on there too, U.S. Senator. Turtle Boy Mitch McConnell, he's there. But also, Nancy. Ice cream, Nancy. Nancy Pelosi, Nancy. You know, AOC's mama bear. Do you get it now? These lawmakers don't like you. You understand now that they will never respect you and that they are more than happy to instigate further conflict. They're more than happy to get the insider information while the rest of us are going broke. They grow fat. They grow lazy. And they dance and drink because they believe the American people are weak. If you're not angry, you should be. It's one big club. And Democratic and Republican lawmaker of voters, Democratic and Republican voters, about this big club. You do realize that you will never sit at the table. And they're going to pat your head and say, thank you for voting for us, puppet. 